Hey YouTube, Alan here, back with my Breda 92 uh, Lead LTT, my everyday carry gun. And as you can see, it's unloaded. Um, there's no nothing in the chamber. I want to talk about which holster I use. So last time I did a little um, demonstration, I was actually using the Claw 2.5 from JM Custom Kydex. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Um, and I have mine uh, marked because I also have SIGs and the same type of holster. So it's sometimes difficult to see which one's which. But basically, so this is the JM Custom Kydex. It's an appendix inside the waistband with a claw. So it not only through the wedge, it pushes the gun up and then the claw here pushes it like this. So basically the grip gets pushed into the belly. So this is my number two holster. It's very comfortable, but for this little edge down here, which even though you have the wedge, it still uh, digs into the belly at times. So my favorite holster inside the waistband, appendix inside the waistband, is the the Keeper um, from Spencer Keepers, Keepers Concealment. And as you can see, it has a nice, uh, very high guard. So you can actually wear it without an undershirt, no problem. It has a little bit of a wedge here, so it doesn't have the claw like the JM Custom Kydex, but this little wedge helps push the pistol grip into the belly. And then of course the same thing down here with the wedge, uh, which pushes the grip up into the belly as well. So, and as you can see, this one is nice and contoured here. So there is no sharp edges really that are pushing into any kind of parts. So this is my pre uh, my favorite one. This is the one that I carry the uh, Beretta in about 99% of the time. Um, every once in a while, depending on what I'm doing, I cannot wear an appendix uh, inside the waistband. And in those cases, I wear this um, Founders Leather Crossbreed Super Tuck. I think that's what it's called. And it's nice because um, it has behind the clips, you see there's room, so you can actually tuck like a shirt in here and then the pistol stays in the, I usually wear this in the 4, uh, 4.30 o'clock position on my hip. And um, I know a couple of people uh, don't like these because the trigger guard is not completely covered with this. Now the trigger is completely covered. The trigger goes in and you can't see the trigger at all. The trigger guard sticks out about maybe this much. So there's a little bit of space between the top of the holster and where the trigger guard uh, sits. Uh, it's not a big deal for me because I don't carry this too often. Now I can't see why somebody who does carry their pistol in this type of holster every day would have issues with that because they're you know, the, the trigger uh, area that can be lint going in there because it's not completely covered or dirt. And um, that could be a problem. Uh, again, I don't wear this that often. Like I said, maybe probably less than 1% of the time. It's funny because between, between the Keeper and the JM Custom Kydex, even though this one is slightly, the JM is slightly less um, comfortable, at least for me, some pants, this one works better than this one. Some pants, most of my pants, actually, this one is the best one. But again, depending on the garment, just like with the, you know, the piece 365, when I wear that with uh, sports shorts, the garment dictates which holster I'm going to use. And uh, with experience, with time, I figured out this one is great with like um, 
shorts that like cargo shorts and uh, other thin material uh, shorts this one conceals slightly better than this one this one is great for like the thicker material um, tactical pants which I don't usually wear them unless I go to the range or go out in the back and shoot um, but jeans uh, this works very well with jeans this was works very well with my Cordura pants so uh, these two again these two are probably about you know the majority of times that I carry I will be carrying the Beretta in one of these holsters uh, with this one being the number one and Spencer Keepers really has done a great job designing this thing um, and if you're even remotely interested in carrying appendix inside the waistband this is the holster to get no questions asked I have one for my SIGs I have uh, them for everything so that's it stay safe <laughs>